Here's a shot of the Foley catheter that I just removed. This has been in there for a week and uh, you better believe I was getting tired of it and it was getting to be a bit annoying and itchy and, and uh, whatever. I was only supposed to keep it in for a week just to keep the bladder neck open because I just had bladder neck surgery uh, because of scar tissue growth. Anyway, you can see the bulb on the end here that goes into your bladder and then the, the, the two holes that drain the bladder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinflate this. Here's the um, syringe with about eight and a half milliliters of, of liquid that I, I removed in order to get the, the Foley catheter out. So I'll just put this back in and we'll see how big this gets. Yay. <laughs> okay, is that gonna break? Hope not. Okay, so that's the little ball. That's the big ball that was hopefully inside my bladder. And then this this little piece that was sticking up goes it is further inside the bladder and it, it keeps it drained. Uh, the reason why I didn't just take a pair of scissors and cut here and drain it, because I, I wanted to see what this looked like. But before I took it out, uh, uh, actually when I, when I put the syringe in and was going to withdraw the liquid, I didn't even have to pull on the syringe. Here I'm going to let it go and you can see what happens plus the pressure of the body also was on that ball so it even pushed harder but you can see that that ball has enough elasticity in it to shove the uh, the syringe right back so now I just take the syringe off and there's a little check valve in there it won't drain anymore but before I did that uh, I can't actually show you the video because it kind of is a bit naked but I, what I did was I measured how much of the Foley was inside. So you can see the two colors here. This is kind of where the, the brown color of this catheter um, has changed color over the week. And so this is generally the end of my penis was about right here. Um, but before I, I pulled it out today, I actually grabbed uh, the loose skin and I pulled because sometimes it, it, you know, it stretches and gets shorter and longer. And I wanted to see the absolute maximum length and worked out to about there today. I put a little pen mark. The reason why I did that was because I wanted to compare it to the catheters that I have to keep putting in every day to keep the opening uh, from growing closed and I wanted to be sure that it was going in. Normally you'd say well <laughs> why do you even bother it's just a tube you're just going to shove a catheter in there and it's going to go through through the sphincter and then it'll go through the prostate and then it'll find the only opening it can and go into the bladder. Well that's true except that twice I've had prostate um, surgeries which removed a lot of the material inside of the prostate. They call it a TERP, transurethal resection of the prostate. And so I've had those as side operations because I've actually had five or six bladders uh, tumor operations, which is called TURB, transurethal resection of the bladder. And I've had uh, probably almost 90% of the inside of my bladder has been covered with, with tumors up to this point. And so five or six surgeries, and, and, and fortunately none of the tumors have been anything other than the superficial level. Um, they haven't moved to high grade yet 
Um, so they just scraped them off, basically. And, and in the process of those surgeries, twice now I've had the prostate um, enlarged on the inside. So it's basically a chamber. So you get the, the, uh, the catheter going in there and it, it, it's tight. You can tell it's going through the sphincter, so you try and relax that. And then once it gets past that, uh, it goes about another uh, half an inch or so. And then it, it's kind of in an opening. Like the prostate isn't tight like it normally is, like a tube. And so it starts to flop around. And sometimes it wasn't finding the opening to the bladder. And it literally would, if I pushed, I could push in a lot of hose, like right up to the end here. But it would just, it would just curl up inside. Like I could feel it with heavy pressure on the inside. And sometimes I would rotate and rotate and, and then bang, you'd feel, oh, I found the opening and in it would go. And you could push it in and out. And, you know, I know that I got it into the bladder. And other times when I was doing the daily, um, self catheterization it wouldn't go in and I would say it went in maybe 20% of the time you know I was keeping track on a chart and they have you keep track of of how much liquid you get out uh, each day when you're putting in the catheter well you always drain because as soon as it goes through the sphincter it drains and they, you collect it in the little hat and you measure it but that doesn't actually go right into the bladder it just goes past the sphincter so that's why I wanted to do all of this measuring and so next time which would be tomorrow because today I, I finally got this fully out so tomorrow I will be the it will be the first day of of doing my twice daily self catheterization and it'll be a bigger one than this this is the old one that I was using uh, a week and a half ago this is a number 14. Uh, I would, from the look of it, this looks like about a number 22 or a 24, or if they even have it that numbering that big. Um, oh, it says here it's a number 20. Okay. So the one they gave me, I have a number 18. So it's halfway in between these two. I have a number 18 that I'm going to be using, and then I'll have to buy some more. And I have some smaller ones, but I want to get it as big as I can. So there you have it. The, the Foley catheter. Foley means that it has two tubes on the inside. One is for the draining, and this one is a separate tube that goes all the way to that little bulb. And it was invented by a guy named Mr. Foley 100 years ago or more. Probably more. And this is just a regular catheter. It's it's just a pipe with holes on the end. And the annoying thing is taking it out because these these holes, this is silicone, I guess, but it's not particularly soft. And when these holes come out past the sphincter, that's when it hurts when you're pulling it out. This one hurt a lot less than I thought it was going to be. Uh, taking it out today was was a pleasure compared to taking out a regular catheter probably because everything was stretched so big for for the last week and then this bulb was just coming out ahead of these little scraper holes because <laughs> they do scrape and they probably didn't catch it all and it was just nice to get it out there it was a little bit of a Ooh! and then it was gone okay thanks for watching